What is that? Can you tell me what that is? Uh, what's the thing I have to play for audition? It, it's what? I have to play this for audition. Yeah, but what is the name of it? Do you know what the name of it is? Uh, Miss Terry, I emailed you that music sheet is uh, preparing for audition. In the latest yeah. email, in the last when? minute, yeah. In the last minute. Oh. Last minute. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if you you want to help him on audition or not, but just send you in case. Okay. I said I think you have your original plan, you know, the pitch and so. I don't think I can speak to. Uh, I haven't received it yet. I'm checked. I checked every account that I have. Um, all right. Well, let's do the scale. And maybe it'll come in when I'm, you know, when you're doing the scale. I pasted okay. the link in the chat. Okay, I have it too. I just got it. Things are slow today. Okay, can you please play the scale for me and keep your eyes on your bow, especially when you're above the middle. And also, Leo, can you turn a little bit so I can see your bow a little bit better? No, the other way. There you go. Thank you. Okay, you know what? That was so much better. When you play like that, people are going to believe that you're really, really good. If you play sloppy because only because you're not paying attention, they're going to say, oh, he's going to even get sloppier in orchestra. So forget that. So be really paying focused attention to that. What happens with your bow above the middle? It's very, very important. Okay, keep going. Keep going with that scale.
Can you keep going? Okay. Okay, and you want to do some of the arpeggios? Okay, I'm gonna stop. Stop. There's one note that's consistently out of tune. Do you know which one it is? Which one? It's the second note that you play of the arpeggio. Be careful, Leo, Leo, be careful on the way down also. It has to be like sitting on the edge of almost falling into the sea. Can you hear it before you play it? Make sure that your head is hearing it. Your ears are hearing the pitch of that note before you play it. Like, let's just, can you turn around? I want you to tell me what note I'm playing. Can you turn your back to me? Okay. What note am I playing? Yeah, you're gonna have to say it really loud. G. Okay, what? G, right? G. Okay, what? How about here? How about now? Mm-hmm. How about... Yeah, okay. How about Okay. And Yeah, okay. All right, so turn around. So then you should be able to hear the B very plainly in your head. Ba Can you sing what would you be willing to sing that note for me before you play it? Be, right before you play it though. So start the arpeggio again. When it's time for the B, hum it or sing it or whistle it, whatever, before you play it. That's right. I just want to hear the the B. I just want to hear you play hum the B or sing the B because that's the one that was really out of tune. B. 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 Right, and what's the note that makes it become G minor? B flat. B flat, right, exactly. So. If you like hesitate and not you're not really clear if you're playing B natural or B flat, then people aren't gonna know. Okay, keep going. Sorry, keep going.
Yeah, guess what? Guess what? It's not good enough just to say B. You have to sing it. B. I was. Uh, well, well, it wasn't as careful as it was in the beginning. Can you do just the last one, the last group, the very last one? Show me your, your vocal. So we have a lot to cover, so let's move on. Are you having more lessons with Melanie this this um, summer? Oh, okay. So, and when do you start school? August 10th. Oh my goodness gracious. We don't start till September. All right, um, so can I hear your La Folia? How far did you go? Did you do the whole thing? No. I'm still at that variation. Okay. We're Which one? Until she comes back. Okay. Good. Stop at the end of the next one. Thank you for playing that in the upper part of the bow. Nice. Nice work. All right. So I think that allegretto section, um, that should be faster. How many beats are in the measure? Four. Really? I think there's only three. Three. Yeah, the whole page is in three, four. In fact, practically, practically the entire piece is in three, four. One. One. One, 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 one.
wait, wait, wait. Can you really honor the rest? So when you have that the dotted quarter, one, two, three, rest. So make sure you come to a full stop. Look both ways. Okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. How about, um, that was much better, that was much better. So in the beginning, when you have the half note in the second measure, can you make a little crescendo into the next C sharp? Like make the half, even though it doesn't say to do that, make a little bit of a crescendo. Just make sure the C sharp doesn't get softer. Keep the intensity of the note and grow a little bit into the next C sharp. Think of it as a, a little bit of a balloon. I'm in, no, I'm in the beginning. I'm in the very first measure. Okay, stop. All right, so that was sort of right. possible can you change the speed of your vibrato like can you go from a slower vibrato to a faster vibrato okay stop I'm set. so what I meant was whatever speed you were playing before was great I liked it but to help the, the little crescendo you could on the half note just on the half note at the end of the half note, make your vibrato get a little fast. Bless you. Make your vibrato get a little faster at the end of the half note. So it gets a little bit, you know, kind of like when somebody's talking to you but gets louder. Do you need to blow your nose? Ready? Can you try it again? Okay. And now quieter. Less. Breathe. Right. And then can you can you take a breath between those two notes? One, two, breathe. You see where the piano is? Did I ask you to move the piano back one note? Can you do that? I that's the way I like it. I don't know if you're if Melanie will um uh, agree with that. Move it back temporarily. Okay. <laughs> Good, and then breathe after the half note be before the pickup. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think you, I'm not sure you put it in the right place. One. Good, and then on the next half note, same thing, in crescendo. And 
And then less bow, the last two measures. All right, ready? Can you just do the last two measures? Or the last three measures of that first opening theme from the F. Da, 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 da. Measure 13. Measure 13. Yeah. Look what it says there. Doesn't it say diminuendo? Yeah. Right. Diminu gets softer. So do it. Can you play just from 14? Just the beginning of the line. suggest that you play it right stay right in second position with a fourth finger instead of the third finger on the highest note can you write that on the bottom just as a choice Okay, uh, and then, then I want to talk about the markings in the Allegro Moderato at the bottom of the page. Thus, so you have a dash and a dot. All right, so they want you to put the spaces between the notes, just like you were doing, but so the legato sound because of the dash, it's going to be less choppy, but then. When you get to the end, did you notice that three measures from the end of that variation, it has just dashes over the note? Can you see, look in your music? So really legato there. So you go from difference for me starting in measure 39, measure 39. oh sorry I, I misspoke 40 it's 41 faster faster Yum, bum, bum, bum. And now legato. Now, little legato here. Now, Leo, Leo, can you pay attention a little bit better, do you think? Okay, thank you. So do you see in your music where it changes to dash, just dashes over the notes? There's nothing 46, in the 46, measure 46. That's where it gets legato, not before that. Okay. 
So where it says the word simile right above that in measure 42, that means keep playing it with stops between the notes. But then when it changes to just the dashes, change to much more legato. Fantastic. Excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead to the Poco Meno Moso. Great. Okay. So if I say to you, you're working too hard, your bow hand is working too hard. Do you remember what we talked about last time? About just tried to use just this part and this part and not too much recommend on that last note going to third position playing it with the second finger taking the bow off the string before you play that note and setting it at the frog make sure it's sitting right on the string though before you pull it otherwise you're going to get a bounce note. can you get this sound for me Try to catch the string with the bow so it has a little bit of an articulation like T for Terry Einfeld. Set, pull. Yeah, you're allowed to take a minute or, or a second. Pause. Yeah, the pause button. Do you know where your pause button is? Uh, right after the D. No, I mean literally. Put, push the pause button. Pause, set, play. I need to see the bow sit on the string before you play. Thank you. Okay, keep going. Can you keep going? I want to hear Andante. Okay. But we, but we have to do this. better than the last time I heard it for sure that andante do you know what subdividing means 
Like breaking it down? Okay, so uh, the andante is now in 4-4, four, four, right? So make sure, and it's also an andante. So andante means a walking tempo, very slow walking, like a lazy walk, right? So if you think eighth notes, or if you think of what the piano part does there, the piano goes, yum, bum, 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 bum. So, if I were in person, I would go. Yep. Can you just play? Right. Can you just play that in eighth notes? Separate bows for now. Four eighth notes for every half note and three eighth notes for every dotted quarter note. So one eighth note, okay. Okay, so now what you have to do, you have to be amazingly smart now. And you have to think on the inside, you're thinking the eighth notes. But on the outside, you're thinking the quarter notes. You're playing the quarter notes and the half notes. But One, two, three, four. Tune your violin. Great, great, great. Okay, can I just hear you play the, from, from measure 86, can I just hear you play? Just the top note. Can you do, I want you to do all the right fingerings though, if you were, as if you were playing the double spell. Stop, stop. So how far away is that, the F, the G from the F? A half step? A what? A half step? No, a whole step. It's a whole step. A half step would be F to F sharp or G flat. Correct. So it's an F natural. So it's a whole step. I think that's one of your problems. Now that you've identified that. Okay, now I want you to finger both of the notes, but still only play the top note.
shift. Okay, and and now can you play finger both, but only play the A string. No, 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 that's not right. Okay, so what notes are out of tune? This is the reason for doing that. Did you hear any notes on the A string that were out of tune? Maybe you need to listen more carefully because you have really good ears and I know you can hear it. That's one of them right there, it's C sharp. What key are we in, do you know? D minor. So what is the leading tone of D minor? C sharp. The leading tone is the note before the key name. So every time you have a C sharp, it leads you into the D, into the feeling of D minor. It's like jumping into the pool. So you have to be make sure that the C sharp is a little bit higher than you normally would play it. It's like sun is out full that you would need sunglasses, the C-sharp is so bright. So you can play C-sharp on the violin a lot of different ways. But for the key of D minor, it has to be as close to the D as possible. Can you get it closer to the D, do you think? Or are your fingers too chubby? I don't think so. I think you can get it really close to the D. Nice. Okay, so start, let me hear both those notes now. We're starting from measure 85. Make sure you start from where I want you to start, 85. That was a miracle. That was beautiful. Okay, so what is C sharp called in the key of D minor? Called leading one? I mean, leading. The leading tone. Right, exactly. Okay, have you worked on the adagio on the next page? Yeah. How's the counting? I, yeah, can we just skip that? I know you'll be able to play that one fine. Well, I we haven't looked on a dive yet. I thought you were oh. talking about this. I thought no. you were okay. talking so, oh. Okay, so I would like you to do something with the adagio for me. All right, it does not involve the violin. So here's what I would like you to do, even though we're really not going to have another lesson. I would like you to, to write the rhythm for me on a blank piece of paper. And I want you to, as homework, I want you to send it to me. Okay, you don't have to do it now. But I want you to take a blank piece of, it doesn't have to be staff paper. It's just gonna be the rhythm and I want you to write no slurs, no ties, no grace notes. No notes? So we're gonna, it would be like half note, quarter note, then a measure, a, a bar line. Do I write the staff? No. It's, it's just a neutral, not named note. Just looks like a regular half note. Doesn't have any pitch. So you have a half note, a quarter note, then no tie, no slur, then put the bar line so there's still three beats in the measure. Okay? And then you would have what? For the next measure. Can you look at your music? Yeah. What's the second measure? How, what are the, the first four notes? It's like a tie that 
ties to the and the, it, there's a tie on the first measure that leads to the second measure and it's tied to a uh, 16 note and then there okay, are so notes after that and a dotted quarter note and another eighth note that is tied to a triple. okay okay good but did you hear me say we're going to ignore the slurs and the try and the ties so we're just going to pretend they're not there all right, so when you write it out, do not put in the slurs and the ties. And then I want your dad to text it to me when you're done in the next two or three days. That's going to not be hard. The variation okay. is very short. The, the entire one, two, three, four, five, six, eight measures. Oh. All of the adagio. All right, let's work a little bit on your audition music now, okay? Uh oh. Okay, just be careful the dotted quarter note. Okay, can you subdivide on that dotted quarter note? Da 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 da. Okay, and, and they're going to, they said, I read the directions, and it said that they really want you to follow all the dynamics. And do you see on the last, the last measure, it says retard, R-I-T period, so get slower and get softer. Did you get softer on that last note? It sounded like to me like you got louder. I use a lot less bow, little bow. Stop. Yeah, use even less bow, that'd be great. Okay, so there are a few places where they have the dots. Do you see that over in the notes? On the second half, especially. Hang on a second, I'm reading it off my phone. There's a dot on the G. dot over the, the G, right? Yeah. Sounds like you're getting louder, though. You have to get softer. You have to fade away. Good, good. Okay, so now it starts what dynamic? The, the whole excerpt starts what? The excerpt starts at 
Mezzo forte. Okay, and then what happens? What's the next dynamic? And then it decrescendo, and then it wait, and then you have to wait for three measures, and uh -huh. then, and then forte, measure, yeah, and then forte, and then decrescendo and read. Uh huh. All right. So just make sure you're very um, intentional. In other words, make sure that people don't have to guess if you're forte and make sure they don't have to guess if you got softer. Make it really, well, we say in your face. It's like, now I'm getting louder. Now I'm getting softer. So I'm really exaggerating, really exaggerating. So pretend this is it. This is your one chance. It is you try it. What? There's only one chance for everybody. And only a Disney yeah. World every year. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes you get to record it and then you get to do it again. But in person, there's only one chance, right? Yeah. Okay, so try this with the dynamics. I'll see. I'm going to be the judge. and fingerings in but they tell you <laughs> they tell you to play and follow the fingerings i would suggest oh so you stay in first position and play the g fourth finger no wait hold it okay. on the second line where you have the four four measure can you go to third position on the fourth note Fourth note of the four four measure. So you go. Second line. The third position on the four. Okay. This is confusing now. Okay, go to the second line. Get your eyes on the second line. One, two, the third measure, okay. the fourth note of that measure. Put a one there. You were saying two first. Put a one there. Yeah, I did. Okay. So can you play just that measure? And then in the next, and then at the end of that measure, I would suggest staying in third position. Oh, yeah, I did that. Yeah, and then I would not suggest shifting down on the G. Um, in fact, when you get to the end of that measure, the four, four measure, so you're on four, four, three, two, can you sh uh, shift to a two in second position on the A at the end of the measure? What do you think of that? It's pretty good. Yeah. Can we do it without the slide? Can we can we do it without the sloppy slide? back up to third position for the last two notes, Leo. I would go back up to third position for the last two notes. Yeah, I would do that. Okay. And what
what about the third the third line? The third line? One, two, three. Actually, fourth line. Yeah, you were sloppy about the ending, right? You forgot to count, get slower, and get softer. Yeah, and what you want to try to avoid is being at the heaviest part of your bow, the softer you get. So save your bow. And then freeze. Stop. That stop and leave your bow there. Right, and then, you know, when the conductor takes his hands down, then you take your bow up. Blind audition. Have you been, have you, I know, but in the, in a real live orchestra. Have you um, ever played an orchestra before? Is that a no or yes? I've been in an orchestra summer camp. I don't really think if that's an orchestra or not. Ah. Okay. And do they have a bottom age limit for this orchestra? No. Okay. Can you play the next one? Oh, okay. Like two years later, I have to play this. And I have to play a big scale. But still, I can't keep the shift. And then we have to... Tremolo. Cool. Great. All right, so when is your audition? Okay, because the next one looks a little bit tricky or rhythmically. No, it's not difficult. Next it's not one is okay. Just something. Yeah. Remember when we were working on the Vercini jig? I had you play it with separate bows first. Separate. No slur. No slur first. Like separate a couple of times, and then I do two slur a couple of times, then four slur a couple of times, and so. Okay. Okay. Try using less bow on the separate. And start down bow. Yeah, start down bow. Less bow. Less, less bow. Thank you. Now use, now slur it. Okay, you put more, can you put more weight and less bow? More weight and less bow, more weight yep. and less bow. More weight, less bow. Good. 
Okay. All right. So I'm sorry I have to move on to the next student, but I hope you I hope you have a good summer, rest of the summer. And I imagine I'll see you somewhere, sometime, sometime, somehow. Say hello to your teacher for me. Hello. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You want to bow? Thank you. When I bow my legs, my legs hurt when I bow. Oh, okay. When I'm doing it correctly, my legs hurt. Wow. Well, maybe your the backs of your knees are too stiff. Relax them. Oh. Even when I bend them, it kind of hurts. Oh, well, maybe you better go running or something. <laughs> okay, bye.